What's the problem, Corporal? It's the men, sir. They're unionizing. Unionizing? Our men are unionizing? Let me tell you about problems. We are in snow up to our waist. The snow is coming down from the sky at a horizontal plane. We're in a third world country, and it's negative 40 out. And you're talking about problems. Honestly, sir, I don't care about your problems. I'm just here on behalf of your men to tell you what they what their demands are. What their demands are? Yes. So, they called us, which means that there is a big problem here. When we get a call from the men and not the officer of the unit, us at Mercenary and Sons know that there is a big problem and that we need to nip the problem in the proverbial bud. Got it. Tell me about this problem. Okay, this or is... Or this a... bud, whichever. This is the deal. They want two weeks off with pay for compensate to compensate for the two weeks of late pay. First of all, that is kind of my fault. You see, but it's not. It's not really our fault. You see, the guy who normally pays us for this kind of work, you see... One of his family members kind of got kidnapped, so he had to he had to pay a little I, bit. I, I completely understand. So we decided to go to the bank because we got we got to take care of ourselves. You know we're we're men now. We can we can take care of ourselves. So we went into this bank, and since we didn't, it was a holiday, so there weren't that many people there. And we said, "Give us all your money," but they didn't speak English. That was our first problem. So I'm one of my one of my men had Google Translate. So we said, Google. How do you say, give us all your money? You know what they heard was, where do you keep all your chimichangas? So, after five tries, we finally figured it out, and they, they gave us all their money, okay? But in the process, one of our guys was just lingering around, and he found this big red butt the size of an ice cream tub. And he's like, whoa, where's a big red button? And it said, silent alarm, do not press, unless needed. Well, we pressed it, and I mean, it was stupid. But, I mean, you, you got to kind of help me out here. I mean, it was a big red button, I understand. So we were running as fast as we can, and all of a sudden we looked behind us, and there was the cop. They were pedaling, pedaling as fast as they could on their bicycles, to, call, to and they were going to beat us up and call us mean names. I lost one good man. We were lucky to escape with the shirts off our back. I've heard this one many times. You don't need to lie to me. They want a ceasefire for all major holidays. Mostly Mother's Day because you did, because you said no to them writing to their mothers. And then their mothers wrote them back, questioning their life decisions and setting them up with old girlfriends. Old girlfriends? That's brutal. No mother should ever do that to their son. No son should ever not send his mother a Mother's Day card on Mother's Day. Touche. I'll give you that. They also want an article of cl winter clothing for each man on Christmas. What do you want me to do on that one? Crochet them nice little socks or knit them little socks while I sit in an armchair by a fire? Yes. Okay. So, that's one of the things you can do. Now, when we came to you, Mercenary and Sons believed in what you believed in, and we decided to fund your operation, but you need to make it flourish. You need to make it worth our while. All right, Corporal. I can do that. Thanks for coming all the way down to accounting. Hey. Is it knit one, Pearl two?